Oh, boy. How excited are you for our, our first guest, uh, Jimmy? Is he on now? Uh, I, hopefully. Is uh, that him? All right, hold on a minute. We, uh, we're we going to be talking to uh, Daniel. Uh, Daniel Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Mar. Mar. Now, what is this book about? I, I just, I it, don't. Dude, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. This is like, this is, this is, this is terrific. I'm, it, I'm, I'm proud that uh, we got him on today. It's, uh, it's brocabulary. 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 Everyone. Brocabulary. The new yes. manifesto. Yes. So it says manifesto Man. of dude talk. Yes. Oh, he See, can't it's hear a, us right now. It's brocabulary. Right. So, uh, like, like I open this up and I see a brologue. Oh boy! It's like yeah. the brologue is mm -hmm. instead of a prologue. Sure. Call it a brologue. Well, of uh, course. Other things like bromunication. <laughs> yep. It's like communication, but uh, the way uh, guys do it, bro. Sure. It's like a guys thing. Sure. You know, <laughs> how great is that? Because we've all, uh, you know, we all love talking like this. Yeah. Guys. It gets you the chicks. A manicdote. Yeah, well. Instead of an anecdote. Yeah. You know, things like that. What about, and then you, and then we get into some of the v vocabulary, like, uh, <laughs> like, Harry Olis. <laughs> we got, no. let's get him on the phone because it's communication. Brodal recall. Well, we got to, we got to talk to, uh, Daniel Marr. We're going to learn about Mantis. Look at this. Look, hold on. We're going to learn about MC Hammered. Dude, I got to tell you this. What? Brodal recall yeah, is well. a bro's recall for what you did last night while hit shammered. Like hit shammered. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, I'm actually looking at the 10, the ten bro man -men. Yeah. The 10 bro man um, Where Can we get them on the phone? We are. We're just setting it up. doodle brew. Because I got... Cockadoodle brew. That's a uh, beer that you uh, drink first thing in the morning. <laughs> what are what are the, what are these card like? What are these called? Where you have like the word and then the answer on the back. What are they called? Flashcards. Like kind of flashcards. We're gonna learn yeah. about community chest or chance. <laughs> right. We're gonna learn about uh, manalize. <laughs> oh, when you manalize something. Uh, a guy brewery. Uh, God damn this stupid fucking Jersey girl talk audio. Punks of Tawny Jill. We're going to learn what that means in vocabulary. Oh, oh, that's fine. <laughs> well, yeah. it's when, when a groundhog comes out of its hole and burns the other groundhog's <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, a master date. <laughs> oh, 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 good gravy. Oh, this is great. And a PDA hole. <laughs> oh, uh, God. Let's talk to Daniel Maurer. Yes, uh, author of Brocabulary. Yes. A new manifesto of dude talk. That's right, Daniel. Hey, how's it going? Good. Hey, Welcome to the right. Opie and Anthony Show. Good to be here. Uh, we were uh, going through your your book, Brocabulary, the yeah. New Manifesto of Do Talk. That's right. And uh, how did this come about there, Daniel? Let's start with the uh, the base. Yeah, what was the inspiration? Sure. Well, the inspiration, actually, I was at um, what I would call a douche donation. Which is really, <laughs> What's that? Really You're... douchey, like bars and clubs. And I was actually I was standing next to a shower girl, this girl that, you know, washing in the shower. Yeah. Um, that's how douchey it was. And a guy, this guy called me a bromo. I actually uh, hadn't heard that one before. A bromo? What's a bromo? for bros who are so tight, they're almost homo. <laughs> and um, I started trying it out on friends of mine, and people were, were you know, kind of found it pretty hilarious. So yeah. um, I realized there was something to this uh, dynamic, you know, this... Uh, this Dynamic. phenomenon of bros, or, or what I would call Guyanese twins, who are constantly attached and, <laughs> Jesus. and kind of are oh, attached to the liver, guy who are always, uh, you know, mm -hmm, drinking mm -hmm. together and, and go everywhere together. So, you know, I thought it would be cool to make up a, a kind of vocabulary for them that they could use when they're broing down. Yeah. Right, bro, bro down. What, what's a when you're broing down? Well, when you're broing it up, when you're when you're with your bros and, and drinking and you know at the strip club, that sort of thing. I think you got a hit on your uh, hands here, Daniel. Well, I got, I couldn't get past the ten bro commandments. It's like commandments, but for bros. Exactly. Number one, I am your bro. Thou shalt not put hoes before me. <laughs> ah, um, bros before hoes has been something that's been said for a long time. That's true. That's, that's go, yeah, yeah. Number I actually two, have a spin on no, that, though. Oh? I mean, it is, obviously, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of unreasonable. That's not going to happen in real life. And it's okay to ditch for a bitch. 
As, ah. long as, you, as long as you have a galibi, and a galibi is a galibi. What's a galibi? Is that like what is that? It's like an alibi what? for not the, an explanation for why you weren't with your bros, and it should never be romantic. It should never be chivalrous. You know, it mm -hmm. shouldn't be about getting a girl flowers. It should be about deflowering a girl. Right. You know, that is um, that is a proper galibi. Nice. And, and your bros should understand that. You know, the the bros before hoes can go out the window if you got a good uh, a, a galibi. Exactly. All right. So I just like to understand. <laughs> Oh. But um, yeah, you know, other other uh, more from the ten commandments. I mean, you you should um, you should uh, remember the Sabbath day. You know, to keep it wholly devoted to watching football. Um, you know, you should honor your mother and father. Obviously, no mother jokes. Um, mm. Why well, mother so jokes could be fun, no? I don't know. I think they're a little played out, and that's kind of the idea, you know, behind the book that these words are a little played out. We need new words, you know. Mm. We've had uh, yeah. we've had the same kind of wingman terminology for a long time now, so it's time well, to kind of well. Speaking of uh, we, uh, men needing uh, needing new words, <laughs> let's go through uh, some of uh, some of your vocabulary here. Sure thing. Uh, which ones uh, would you like to do? Well, how, how about um, you hit us up with a word? You know, let's talk about the old words and the new ones. I mean, uh, we've had fugly for so long. Why not come up with new ugly words, such as uh, tugly, which is, you know, <laughs> when a girl is so ugly you'd rather just go home and tug it than hooking up. Ah. <laughs> oh, my or, God. Uh, you know. i got to tell you, uh, Daniel, we got a live audience today, and uh, they're definitely enjoying this. They're, they're, they're uh, <laughs> ugly. Yeah, you like, uh, like Daniel so far? Very good. All right, tugly. I like that. Well, what about wasted? I mean, you, you know, we've been using this word to describe a state of inebriation for so long. Uh, you know, what we use about, it as like, time on this radio show. <laughs> now, what's that? <laughs> I said sometimes we use it as like time on this radio show is wasted. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, good we gravy! We need more specific words like slam decapped. That's when you're so slammed that you can't even like get your car keys out of your uh, out of your pocket. You need your bro to do it for you. I heard that. Or, oh uh, God! Do you really want your bro going into your pockets though? <laughs> yes. You know, what you know, you're, that you're back to Bromo again. <laughs> Good gosh. I gotta make a call. Or uh, uh, right. when you're transvest tanked, you're so tanked that you don't care whether the hooker you just picked up is a man or a woman. Yeah, transvest tanked. Some people uh, don't need to be drunk to do that. Jimmy would be able to talk about that. Yeah. But he's, uh, it, he's got business. Today. He's a very busy man, Jimmy. Yeah. I so. wish, uh, yeah, there was a word for 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 that. What is uh, what is? I'm going through the vocabulary, Daniel. What's this uh, master date all about? Mm. Master date, of course, is a, a a date. But instead of taking a girl, you're taking yourself out of your pants. It's uh, it's kind of. Uh. A a masturbation session that's planned in advance, like let's say your girl is going out on uh, Friday night and you, yeah. you know that you're going to have uh, half an hour to yourself to kind of, you know, treat yourself to dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie, of course, being a porno and some nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Jeez. I'm there, trying to... There's a whole actual chapter of Spank Speak, which I'm really proud of. Oh, Spank Speak. Oh, Spanx. Well, where's that? I want to play along here at home. There, that's towards towards the end of the book, right near uh, Shitter Chatter. Shitter and, uh, Chatter. Spank Speak sure. is actually, uh, you know, like masturbation. You know, when you're uh, masturbating while smashed, which can uh. often uh, lead to a jack out, which is when you black out while you're jacking off. A jack out. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Oh my God. It was uh, uh, been Jack this weekend, weren't you? Oh, my God. I was so hammered. I was, uh, yeah, I, I passed out right. dick, dick in hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't, wasn't mine. Wait a minute. <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I'm, confused. Uh, I'm confused with uh, tear jerking. Tear jerking is, uh, you know, let's say you break up with a, a girlfriend, but you still have some holderoids of her uh, lying around. Uh-huh. What, what's, uh, what, what's a holderoid? A Holaroid is just a Polaroid of a, a hoe that you uh, went out with. Holaroid. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, I gotcha. God, all I right. get that. Yep. <laughs> Some of these are kind of painful. Um, but, yeah, well. tear jerking is when you when you whip those out and, and you're kind of, um, you know, jerking it to what I would call mornography, which is pornography of, you know, a girl that you're still mourning the loss of. Ah. Uh, <laughs> it's a dark, dark place to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, let's uh, go to the phones and say hi to Steve. Hi, Steve. Hello. You're on with uh, Daniel. Steve. Uh, hi, Daniel. How are you? Hey, Steve. How's it going? Is your book available in stores now? I, I, I actually like the bro communications and things of that nature. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, it is. What it's, exactly? Uh, it's on Amazon. Oh, no, go ahead. You talk. It on the net. What? Yeah. What actually? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, inspired you to <laughs> to do this? I think they asked that question, right? I don't, I don't know. I, I yeah. was just thinking I was on hold. I'm yeah, sorry. Steve, we, uh, we already asked him uh, that question, Yeah, for Steve. some reason, when uh, our listeners are on hold, Daniel, yeah. they don't get to hear the show. So yes, maybe I, I maybe you could humor uh, uh, Steve and just well, tell him real fast. Well, is it because, fast. like, is this something, are these words that people are actually using? Like, did you create a lot of them? Um, hmm. What happened? Go. Yeah, I, I did create um, most of them, and, and the idea is to basically... What is your favorite one? I liked the the the, uh, the the Holaroid and the other one of the the masturbation when the man passes out. What is your favorite? I like uh, forensic evidence. Ramon! Tell this bag of shit to stop doing puns. <laughs> Ramon! I'd rather give a bro job than listen to this shit stain. That's pretty good. Ramon! I hope this man dies of AIDS. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Ramon! that. Ramon! He's suckly! He's ugly and he sucks! <laughs> oh. Ramon! I've read funnier leaflets at the DMV! Tell me when you're done. I'm just checking my email. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I finished temporarily. What? All right. Sometimes, uh, you, yeah. Sometimes I, I, these uh, the callers slip through. Yeah. I like that though. Tell me when you're done. I'm checking my email. Yeah. Well. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, Daniel. Yeah. So, so where we're oh uh, the Punxsutawney Jill that was the one that uh, piqued our interest when we uh, were going through this. Uh, Punxsutawney Jill is you know what page uh, is that on? Hmm. I'm trying to find it. Wait a minute. Do you know uh, where that... Oh, I got it. Wow, what a coincidence. I just turned right to it. What page, Ant? Uh, it's a 143. 143. Okay. You know, what's that one about? That one is, um, you know, when spring comes around and, uh, you know, a girl uh, starts wearing a kind of, you know, the first day of nice weather when she starts wearing mm. a mini skirt, and by the end of the night, you know, she's shivering because uh, the weather has changed. She, she comes out like a groundhog, but... Uh, Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you do a lot of these? Are these all like? Have you have? Did you have contributions, or are these all you? Uh, they're pretty much all me. I mean, um, there were people who chipped in a bit. Uh, my brother actually was was pretty good. He's the one who came up with uh, forensic evidence, which is when you wake up and your apartment looks like a crime scene because there's panties strewn all over the place, bras. You know, there's evidence ah. that you were a whore in the night before. What do you call your brother? That would be a hard thing to come up with. A yeah. bro, bro. He's my true bro. He's my uh, flesh and blood. Yeah, but I mean, like, w what do you call your brother in bro speak like that? In a bro uh, vocabulary. You know, the bro of all bros. <laughs> Just the bro, yeah. Hey, has anyone ever told you that you sound exactly like Kevin Smith? Oh my god, he does. <laughs> the voice actually is very similar. Yeah, do you know that? I didn't know that, no. Jesus. Oh wow, now that creeped me out. Yeah. yeah. Well. I like this. You got a whole thing here. It's like a. I like the uh, target. It's it's like activity she wants to butt in on, why you aren't having it, and your excuse. Like activity she wants to butt in on watching the game, which everyone's had to deal with. You're trying to watch the game, and she's got to put her face in there. Why you aren't having it? Because she'll be like an annoying two year old asking, "Daddy, what's a touchdown? What's a fumble? Oh. What's a pig skin?" Oh, Uncle Paul. Yeah. And uh, your excuse is you're superstitious for twenty years. You haven't let anyone whose first name starts with whatever her initial is watch the game with you because it jinxes the team. Yeah. This includes your mom. Sorry, babe. I know it's crazy, but that's just the way it is. But when my team wins, I'll buy you a milkshake. For the woman or for the kid? That's an example of a jersey girl, which is a girl who, um, mm. who doesn't really follow football. She just wears the jersey just to kind of bro along with her boyfriend. <laughs> ah. Um. Oh, I like that because I was just at a hockey game, and you you see those uh, those chicks. Yeah, they're irritating. Yeah, they, they just like the quarterback, you know. They yeah. they're the ones who love. Uh, well, that's why they came up with the pink version of the jersey, so the chicks could yeah. wear the pink. Yeah, and the hats and all that yeah, shit. You know, what's a manti? Mantis are uh, panties that um, that you would wear after hooking up with a girl when you um, when you're uh, you know. <laughs> don't have fresh uh, tidy whities at your disposal. 
And that's an example of a word that, you know, I kind of made it a mix of uh, things that guys actually do and that guys would never do in a million years, uh, not sober anyway. Yeah. Mm. Just to kind of keep the girls guessing, you know, women who read the book, I think their uh, reaction a lot of the times is, do guys actually do this stuff? Right. And, um, you know, they yeah. need to kind of figure out figure that out with their boyfriend. How come you have guy dolls, acceptable guy dolls yeah, and false guy dolls? Those are guy dolls. Oh. Like, Oh, guys, so idols with a guy. Idolize. Oh, I see. I get it. <laughs> what does that mean? You know, guys that you look up to, your uh, your heroes. You know, uh, like Brad Pitt and like, stuff. Uh, Chuck Norris. You know. Well, acceptable. Like they, yeah, kind of compare and contrast. Hockey players are acceptable. Mm -hmm. uh, ice skaters are not. Yeah. Hard drinkers like Bukowski are acceptable. Sure. Deep thinkers like Plato are not. Um, Scott Peterson's acceptable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice husbands are not. <laughs> Jake LaMotta's way of problem solving is acceptable, <laughs> talking things out or not. Do you know any lines from, like, do you know any, like, uh, Silent Bob lines? You asking me? Yeah. yeah. No. Is this Kevin Smith? <laughs> no, he does sound like Kevin, but it's not Kevin. How do you know? Oh, because I'm reading this. <laughs> it's not Kevin. No one else has told you you sound just like Kevin Smith? I've never heard that, no. Are you doing like a Seinfeld when Seinfeld like put out a book, and but it wasn't under Seinfeld's name, but then everyone found out it was Seinfeld? Did he really do that, like Stephen King with Richard Bachman? Yeah, he, a little of that, right. <laughs> How long did it take you to actually uh, to, to write this? Uh, it's hard to say. It didn't take, um, you know, it took about a year. That's it? Wow. It took about a year. There was a lot of uh, procrastination involved. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you That was procrastination. It's, it's, it's obviously right. a, that, another, that's actually, more wordplay. But. That's very clever because a lot of us, we have things to do, but we ended up spending time jerking off instead. Procrastination. So it's fucking mind-boggling. Right. Jimmy can relate to that. I can. What's a, what's a dudonym? A dudonym is, um, you know, like McLovin. It's the, your pseudonym that refers, you know, guys never call each other by their real names. So, you know. No. Yeah, that's true. You gotta have a dudenum. You also have a brudenum, like uh, you know, Abraham Drinken, who makes a uh, inebriation proclamation. Ah, uh, uh, four horrors and better than the real ago. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. What, what is your uh, but what is your dudenum? Um, I go by uh, Danimal. 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 You're nice. the Danimal. Uh, I also had a career as a competitive eater, nice. and uh, I was yeah? referred to as the fly. Because I was on food like a fly. I, that, uh, they called me that when a dominatrix but... shit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it happens. Danimal. Jim, Jim, what's your, like, manly name? What's that? Do you have, like, a Danimal name? No, I've actually never, I never had one. I, 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 really? Yeah, I would love to have, like, a... I, I can mean, you give one to, to Jim? Like... Can you work off the name Jim? Is it always off the name, or is it also yeah. off behavior? Yeah, that's a good it's question. It's usually uh, it's usually off behavior. That's the brudenum would be like you know your your behavior while you're drinking. You know. Uh, oh wow. If you're uh, Jim aside, you know you could be like <laughs> Saddam Hussein or. Uh, I want to be, you know. Anthbrony. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not... kind of cool, right? I could be like, hey, Anthbrony. I'm bagless Jimmy. Ah, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, the thing with a name rules. like Jim, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty manly to begin with. So yeah. Yeah. You spell it G-Y-M. Your gyms or your... Jim the shim. <laughs> <laughs> you can only go down from there, like Jim. Jimmy or, or Joey or... Or, uh, like, I, I sometimes I like to go to the jimmy -nasium. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, jimmy -nasium would be good for <laughs> hey, you. That's nice. manly. See, that's why mm. we're not writing the book, and Daniel is. Our, our yeah. stuff is lame compared not good. to this. Uh, Guy Bernation, we did that one, right? Skybernation is when you shut yourself asshole. in, you, uh, you don't, you know, you, maybe you've bro deed you've over deed on your, you're overdosed on your bros, and you just kind yeah. of uh, go and got to pump your stomach. Come. <laughs> Rod Stewart bro deed <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Robert no. Reed. Yeah, they all did, sure. <laughs> uh, wow, this is uh, pretty good stuff. The, uh, the cup grade, what's the cup grade? Cup grade is when you're dating, you know, a B cup, and you, uh, you cup grade to another. She turns girl. fifteen and. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and you get a chick. I actually like chicks with smaller tits, though. Yeah. To be honest with you, yeah. I mean, I guess they're much better fit shaped. They are. And uh, much they, firmer. Easier to bite. Right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, there's a whole chapter on tidiosyncrasies. <laughs> tidiosyncrasies. <laughs> uh, how do we not know? What page is that on? You got um. <laughs> You got the scariolas, which are areolas. <laughs> scariola. Are so big, they're scary. 
See, I actually like that. I like a big, I like a big Do brown you? one. Yeah. Do you? I want it to look like someone mushed <laughs> diarrhea on her tits. <laughs> Dude, you I'm what, so uh, with you, you on that what? one. What I like are the gripples. They used to, the, which are, uh, oh, the grip? Well, well, you wow, what's what a grippel? You could grip. You know. Oh, I like uh, that. Oh, yeah. I like the thing that's gripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. What, what else about the breast? Because it's amazing. Everyone's yeah. got different breast taste. Tidiosyncrasies. Yeah. Well, Tidiosyncrasies. there's also um, Jimmy. the man you know, no, no offense to guys who uh, who like smaller breasts, but there's also gay yeah. cups. You ever hear Olivia Newton gone? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're talking about tidiosyncrasies, of course. <laughs> oh, just having some fun. Good gravy. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. 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 Tidiosyncrasies. Tidiosyncrasies. We're just trying to come up with our own, oh, just to have some helping. fun with this. Here go the floodgates. What were you saying about uh, something? Uh, <laughs> what was the one you said just before that? Uh, the one be for for uh, a guy who likes a smaller uh, smaller breast is a gay cup, which is eight ah. cups that are so small they make you feel gay. Oh, yeah. there's nothing there, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Those are a little rough. <laughs> We're seeing it flat as a plate. Yeah. But, uh, I never, I never, I never thought gay in that in that case. I always thought like underage. Well, you think yeah. underage. <laughs> Yeah, well, Kyle you know, S from it's, it's well, Kyle S from it. Indiana wants to help you with what's what's the what's the chapter called? Tidiosyncrasies? Yeah, well, Kyle S uh, from Indiana, Christina Applegon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have anything about? Because I like larger vages. Do you have anything like about clits or anything ah, like that? Yeah. Ah, uh, there is. Yeah, like a clitoris uh, is like a clit that belongs on a dinosaur. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Cause Jimmy likes the big ones. He likes the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Anything I like, like, a, like an there's elephant a, there's like the clidiot who doesn't know his way around. <laughs> oh, the <pussy>? A clidiot. <laughs> I like that. All right. I like that. God, you have a million of them. You have there's anything? A, yeah, I guess there would be clidiosyncrasies. I, I, yeah. Maybe I'll save that for the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. When, when you're not the filming movies. Uh, you should what? write something about like uh, the smell under the hood. <laughs> hey, you yeah. got anything on the shitter? <laughs> there is an entire chapter of shitter chatter. Oh, shitter, shitter chatter. chatter? Exactly. Shitter chatter. Shitter oh, chatter. Okay. That's, that's not too much uh, like shitter that's chatter. Like when you <laughs> overpopulate the bowl, when the bowl is uh, overpopulated. Oh, uh, when she says she's gonna, she hasn't taken a suppository, and she has. The next thing you know, it's all over your chest. <laughs> and then you gotta pay her. <laughs> uh, believe me, she's not even the Russian that was in the ad. Like, Excuse me, madam. You put wet hay on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, someone spilled goulash on my chest. I'm paying for a solid log here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> excuse me, miss. I don't want to pay for fucking jerk chicken all over my fucking chin and neck. <laughs> uh, what about uh, you got blocabulary? Now this is good because the you know us guys we like the we like the blow job. Is that right? what you do when you're out with your friend Cabulary? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that could be good for the second book, sir. Uh, what's some of the blocabulary you like? Blocabulary. Um, well, there's the blow job obligation when you do a um, when you do a favor for a girl. You you help her move or something. You change her tire and she owes you a blow job. She's blow job obligated. To you. Oh, blow oh, job nice. obligated. Very clever. That's great. Yes. Is that like when you drive someone like far from home and you say uh, suck it or you're gonna walk or or you're gonna end up in a shallow grave? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> not quite. I wouldn't take it that far. What's oh, of course saving not. your life with a sucking that's called. <laughs> you wanna you wanna explain uh, chaps dick. <laughs> Uh, chapstick. What I like to put in my mouth. <laughs> chapstick is a. a oh, come on. Chapstick. That's hilarious. What's what's your definition of chapstick? Uh, chapstick is just a dick that you rub on our lips, like chapstick. Yep, yep. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I uh, my favorite in the in the blowjob. Um, oh boy. You know. Uh, chapter is Maxell when you're uh, like the Maxell guy, the Maxell cassette guy who is leaning yeah. back in the yeah. a leather mm. chair. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm right. Like how, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what are you getting blown away? I always thought that like when a guy was, what, what, what's the point of that one? Is like that she's queefing on you and your hair's blowing back? <laughs> Dude. Uh, no, that, just that you're in a comfortable chair, you know. Yo. Um, a nice leather chair. But how come the wind's blowing in the man's face? 
Because it's a blowjob. It's like he's listening to music during a tsunami. Because he's actually getting a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I like your... I, I want to read this, because this is very clever. No, right. Eating disorder is uh, an eating disorder that's specific to cockaholics. Yeah. I've never seen someone with such an eating disorder. She was a total penis fly trap. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, they like that one. Did you reread this and go back over and find ones you missed? Like, yeah. if you would write one, would you go back over and like have somebody reread it and go, well, look, you could change this word, you could change that word? Like, how many passes through did you do? Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, I did, I did uh, right. you know. With you know, with any manuscript, you reread it, you add some more words. Right. It did get very pun heavy, which is why it might be described as punishment. Oh, uh, nice! You know, there's no there's no avoiding puns if you if you're doing guy talk. You it know, it's a crucial, you got, uh, crucial element. True. You got a lot. Grape. Of them, man. I like I like. <laughs> what, how, why would why would bros why would bros care about a boomer wang? Oh, well, that's going. <laughs> you've never. I mean, you've never watched porn and seen a dick that was exactly like you. That, well, that's a doppelwanger. The boomerwang boomer is like that's in. I think that's in the um, the uh, you know spank speak chapter. It's just a, uh, a curved penis. You know, there needs to be a word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I like this one, catheter. Yeah, we're all going. Someone who is a here. worse than a pain in the ass. They're a pain in the dick. Yeah, uh, you could also call them penile cancer. <laughs> <laughs> you, wait, does cracktivities? What's cracktivities? Cracktivities just any activities related to uh, the smoking of crack or you know, yeah, other yeah. sorts of cracks. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's it? Give yourself a grinspection. That's uh, when you have a bangover. Uh, bangover is when you uh, wake up after a night of excessive banging, and you want to make sure that you're. Uh, you know, not too obvious when you roll into the office. You want to, you know, uh, give yourself a grin inspection. Make sure there's no short and curlies in your uh, in your teeth. Wow, oh, it never oh, happens to boss. me. Yeah. They they don't have hair yet. <laughs> 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 Got to give you a dick one. Make sure the braces haven't torn it. <laughs> and by those, I mean the ones on our legs. <laughs> I love a polio kid. Yeah. <laughs> what are they gonna do? It's a good day for him. Hey, uh, a girl on a whore path. What's that all about? Uh, um, what's a whore you know, path? She's on the war path, but it's, oh, uh, war whore. Oh, I get it. Yeah. All right. Mm. That's. I think that's an example of uh, when you're having a retargument, which is a retarded argument with your girlfriend. Ah, uh, well, isn't that anything? Yes, or a discussion with a retard. <laughs> which is always fun. Don't put your tongue in there. <laughs> <laughs> what's a bathlete? A bathlete is, a, you know, that would replace the word metrosexual, which is kind of tired, but a bathlete is just someone who's an athlete about right. bathing, grooming. You oh, know, just they men around bathhouses. <laughs> a bathlete's a guy who can, who can uh, <laughs> go from bench to bench in the bathhouse and yeah. fucking drink out of mules we got at Jim. <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, this book is... <laughs> <laughs> Always goes there. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> Christina Apple less. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't got no apples. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We just we we laugh at ourselves no, really, a lot. Yeah, or, um, the book really should be more of like a Wikipedia thing where people can uh, can tweak entries and and uh, kind Ooh. of make their own. Um, yeah, you got, uh, a web, you got a website? Do you? Drill pill. What's it? No, it's a drill pill. Yeah. That's probably like Viagra or something, right? like Viagra. Yeah. Yeah, you're, oh, yeah. see, I went with Flintstones Chewable. <laughs> if you're about to commit Viagravated Assault, uh, you definitely... Oh, oh yeah. Viagravated oh. Assault. That's kind of like Aggravated Assault, but with your dick out and a hammer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this book is... Um, all right. Uh, yeah, if you want to go to the website, if you want to suggest words, um, go to www.brocab.com. And people can suggest words at brocab.com? People mm. can write in. Oh, that'd be um, terrific. This, this. Uh, can they post them? Absolutely, yeah. I, I can post them for them. But... Oh, people can't just go post? Your, our listeners are very interactive. Uh, you can comment, but um, probably okay. the best way is to just email me and uh, I'll put them up. All right, what's the... Um, yeah, what's your email address? What's, no, what's, what's the, uh, what's the website? Uh, yeah. If you just go to uh, brocab. dot com, you'll uh, there'll be like an email me button. Okay. Are you uh, planning on selling a lot of these? 
<laughs> That's the plan, yeah. Have you gone out and done book signings and stuff like that? Um, not yet, no. I have um, I have put my uh, blotograph on a lot of them, which is when you uh, oh. you sign your credit card when you're totally wasted. What's it called? Blotograph. Why the blot, though? Well, you're blotto. You're totally blotto. Oh, 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 oh yeah. okay. Yuck. What is this, a shot glass put? Shot glass put is, um, there's advice on when you get into a neander brawl in a bar, when a bargument turns into a neander brawl, and uh, you're going to want to use, like, the Kiwiville slugger, like the uh, pool cue that you, uh, that you slug someone over the head with. Shot glass put is, you know, you take a shot glass and heave it like a shot put across the room at someone. Um, so there's a lot of brawl, uh, bar brawl advice. What is the, um, but, what's Flack Friday? Yeah. Black Friday it's is... It's amazing, you know, by the way. You actually remember all these offhand. I know. It's amazing. I'm, mm. Yeah, I'm kind of amazed myself. It's like you don't but, have uh, a job or something. Black Friday is like fri Friday rolls around. Your girl wants to be with you. You want to be with your boys. You're going to get flack from someone no matter what you do, whether you see the chick flick with her or you see the dick flick with them. Mm. You know, someone is going to be pissed off at flick, you. Wait, chick flick with her or a dick mm. flick with them? Yeah, she wants to go out and see the but new, like, you know, Tyler Perry movie or something. Mm. Your guys want to go out and see the new Die Hard movie. You know, you're damned if you uh, do. You're damned. Well, if yes, you know. you're damned if you do, and you're 1985 if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's if you're in a bad relationship. So, um, be able to tell her like, you know, how yeah, long was it? I want to see this. Friends, how long was it till your uh, bros told you, "All right, enough with the fucking puns." Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering when you're going to tell me that. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, they, uh, they, um... Brian from St. Louis, Melissa Lesridge. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It's definitely to be taken in small doses. Keep it by the toilet. Read it, you know, mm. one entry at a time. Oh, yeah, run that's out of why it's, toilet that's paper. Why it's shitterature. That's true. Shitterature. The, the, that's uh, the book you put by the ball, right? 217 okay. pieces of... <laughs> <laughs> um, where, where are you actually? Are you a New Yorker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> what do you say, keep it by the what? And I forgot. What do you by, say, keep it by, by the, the shitter. Oh. Or the, um. for breakfast a sponge <laughs> Urinal oh. book. No, still hanging. Cool. Sorry for the uh, interruption. I no problem. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Never seen anybody uh, go that long. It's amazing. Mm hmm. <laughs> All 
right? So, what's a slurchus? <laughs> slurchus is, uh, you know, when you're at the bar, you're making a... Uh, Go away. Oh, Go away. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, God. That book is fun while you're in a bookstore and you're browsing for 30 seconds while your chick's oh, buying a book or something. Oh, my God. How do you piss for so long? <laughs> it's amazing. You're fucking holding that in since last year? Jesus. That's probably what's wrong with your shoulder. You're holding piss all yeah. the way up to it. <laughs> piss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's uh that's some oh. hazard waste now <laughs> wow that, that is whole, like that whole garbage pill has to go all right why don't we take a break that was wonderful well not to piss apparently well unless you're not done yet yeah, mm -hmm. mm. yeah we'll take a little break <laughs> Uh, uh, what a uh, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with Joe Biden. He's uh he's speaking live on TV and he's got like hair plugs that he didn't go for the what? He ran out of money or something? He's one of those guys that ran out of money, right? Now that looks like he went with hair plugs. Which, uh, bro plugs. Did that bro, bro, bro plugs. plugs. Oh, hair bros. Ah. Hair bros. Yeah, it doesn't even have to make sense. Yeah, there you go. I like how you turned his book into a urinal cake book. What did someone said? I, I turned his book into the yellow into pages. Into the yellow pages. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you were. Yeah. Great line. You took a bro bis on it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was, well, I was going to try to work off boredom. Brodom? Brodom. I was brodom. That's when uh, your bro is sucking on your scrotum, though. Yeah. <laughs> give, give, I've given you some brodum. <laughs> Teabagging your bro. Yeah, as well. The, the it, Broman war helmet. What's it's when you <laughs> lay your balls on your bro's fucking the bridge of his nose, yeah. the what, bridge of his bros. What's uh, what's uh, what's teabagging your 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 uh, bro called? That's uh, tea brogue. No. What? It's called gay. <laughs> it's called <laughs> fucking gay. <laughs> Should have known that. Yeah, Biden looks like he went with uh, like the old school hair plugs where they took like a cookie cutter mm -hmm. and like cut big fucking rings out of your head and then put them in the front. Mm -hmm. And then he just combs that over like he's got a comb over and plugs. Well, you got to comb it all the way to the back. Well, that's what he but he can't. It doesn't look like he could grow it that long. So he's got like a, a four inch part on one side, and then the back is showing. Yeah. And then he got his eyes done. Like you said, he got an eye job or something. He looks like a newborn puppy. <laughs> you know when a newborn puppy, it's it, it's all wet and everything is slicked back, slicked back, the face and everything because it just yeah. squished through the, the the cunt of the dog, <laughs> the doggy cunt. He looks like he's wearing a pharaoh helmet. <laughs> <laughs> he's just and he just. He, he looks a, like the meanest son of a bitch. God, I, I bet you he hates women. Just a, yeah. He's oh, a, you can only hope. He's a, a woman. He looks hater. like a meanie. <laughs> he just looks like either a, 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 the dean of boys at a school or, or that fucking supervisor at work that just is constantly bitching at you. He wants to be the vice president. Yes, oh, right but on. he can't be. You think he has bad breath? Because no. he looks like he has dentures and stuff. That he probably so you think it's like well. coffee and cigarettes or something? And then his eyes don't close because he had eye work. And then he's got the, the chicken neck. He's got neck. the chicken neck coming out the waddle. <laughs> coming out the top of his tie. Yeah. Those suits. Old men, when they got to wear that suit, it just pushes everything up above the tie and collar. Yeah. It's the big thing. It's actually his navel. Hey, this, <laughs> before we move on to our next bit, because we just go from bit to bit to bit around Yes, here. we do. Ah... Yeah. Uh, Hold on a minute. Well, someone's trying to make a sh uh, Cheryl No joke instead of Cheryl Crow. Mark Did Oliver you? from Houston. I think so. Uh, Jamie oh. Hughes from Tom's River writes, That asshole made me want to bro my brains out. <laughs> 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 Mike in Delaware, Ramon, this guy's a bromosexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we did that. Uh, Tim C. from Cleveland, I'd like to be teabagged by my bro. His balls smell like my brunt, bro, uh, bro, uh, bro uh, onions with bro in front of it. Help me here. Bro, 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 bro
How about a a, a rusty trombone? <laughs> Chrissy from Virginia. That fucking douche in his bro book. Well, P -bone, P Bone writes from Tampa. He could get some gel and make a bro hawk. <laughs> uh, yeah, bro Biden. His book fucking bros. <laughs> Oh, wait, hold on a minute. You guys, you know, we have to continue with this. Jeremy from Jersey. Yes, Jeremy. Good morning, shit dicks. Hey. Hey, Biden probably should have used some brogaine. <laughs> <laughs> a little brogaine. Hard. But now he's doing the brome over. <laughs> Didn't someone call Master Poe Master Bro today? Master Bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Bropey. <laughs> And Manthony. And Manthony, yes. That's right. And faggot. Oh. Well, I can't think of anything for Jimmy. Oh, How Jim. about just this? How about... <laughs> it's, it's the uh, Bropey and Manthony show. Yeah, uh, Bropey and Manthony. That's what we should him. change it to. I'm him Norton. Him Norton, yes. <laughs> him Norton man. Yeah, him Norton man. <laughs> And Manny. <laughs> Manny is... Manny! <laughs> Ugh, this it, is fucking awful. This is wonderful. Oh. And who else do we have? Mm, Travass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we still got lots more stuff, and don't forget about the mystery box. What's in the mystery <laughs> box? I, well, I didn't take a peek. At the end of today's giveaways... Yeah. If any of the fans are unhappy with their prize or prize pack, oh. they're allowed to trade it in for the mystery box, which has mouse shit on top of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Enough. Look at his feet. What yeah. happens when they all trade it in? <laughs> don't, new gift? don't fix them. They go, yeah, his feet are they're fucked up. They're crazy yeah, fucking. You're fucking. You know what? You're going to get hammer toes. That's Dude. what happens. Yeah. Really? That's what yeah. happens. You what get you? hammer toes out of that. Yep. Why didn't your parents do what the right thing? What have I done? Why didn't the what parents... <laughs> Why didn't your parents do the right thing and get, and get you the and shoes? And abort with, you. With the, <laughs> <laughs> get you the shoes with the bar. There's nothing wrong. I'm I had, I had a family member that had the shoes with the bar to straighten that shit out. You need fucking Forrest Gump braces yeah. to straighten those feet out. <laughs> They're right. You already have his mentality. You know what's funny is he's trying He's trying to straighten them out. And that's as I know. close as he can get it's, them. It's not even yeah. working. Now his knees hurt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He straightens them out. His fucking ears flop out more. His fucking... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna He's get definitely pulling some fucking ligaments out. I want to get a get him on a ski slope, man. Just fucking snow plow <laughs> oh, the entire shit. day. Jesus, dude. I think Enough that's snow plow. I'm telling you, when your get feet some speed up, when your feet point out like <laughs> that, ski it, joke for everybody. Thank you. It means you're in pain of some sort, and you're avoiding pain. Like your 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 body's just doing that so it doesn't hurt. So what you need is you need some kind of corrective orthotics. And that will help your feet get straight because you're obviously with the, your arch or something's all fucked up. Doctor Norton, I'm telling you, because I went to a, a podiatrist and she made me walk, and she looked at me and she knew it was wrong. She's like, "Okay, you having problems with this one?" I could tell because it yeah, kicks out. Yeah, because you're fucking little. limping. Yeah. Yes, and I kept going, "Ow!" and pointing at my right foot. And she said, "I bet it's the right one." Why don't we then give? I fucked her she's face. She's a sharpie. <laughs> she sure is. Why don't we give Sam like the the Kathy Bates thing? Oh, hobble him? Yeah, let's hobble you. Why? Because hobble you. Just to get him back <laughs> Why? straight. Why? All right, Sam, I don't want to be hobbled. Does it feel weird to stand like that? Yeah, really Speak weird. Speak straight like, I'm, right. like a human? Stand, stand normal like you are normally. They're, they're, You're a bow-legged no. zilch, too. His fucking, he's got, like, fucking lasso legs. <laughs> no wonder he wants to open her. Hey, fucking cowboy Sam. You look like one of those plastic cowboys you took off the horse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, and and they can never stand, stand, they can no. never stand up once you took them off. He's there. He's all fucked up. Uh. <laughs> Hey, He's uh, got Captain Morgan legs. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, why don't you give out? It, it would make me very happy. Could you give out one of the copies of the Bromance book, please? I thought we were giving it one person gets all of them. Don't well, correct open. I just want to make sure these people all walk away with something. Yeah, all right. Exactly. Unless E Rock so can find more shit in our office to give away. Mm. No, this what, is explain the bromance. Give away himself. <laughs> yeah. Explain the bromance book to Bill Burr, please, our guest in studio. This sounds great. You're well, this is this. like it's at the almost Trump Marina Saturday night. <laughs> yes, he is. It will Sorry, help you. This Saturday, yes. It will help you gain a bromance. It's called Brocabulary, yeah. and it's called The New Manifesto of Dude Talk. Mm -hmm. And it kind of... Why don't you willy-nilly just open it up and give uh, Bill Burr Any an page is a treat, I I so I don't I love, even have to I love like, these, these kinds don't of books. They are kind of fun, right, Bill? Yeah, oh, yeah, my God. Oh. Anytime they're up by the cash register, I just they're a hoot, Jim, yeah. as you would say. Impulse buy. Like, if I was like... Damn, bro, you're a real flirtuoso. 
<laughs> that would be like a virtuoso when it comes to flirting, but it's for dudes. I'll tell you that street slang. It's like I can never it's quite, I can never quite it's pick great. it up. It's amazing. A flirtuoso. This is just like talking like the black guys. And you talk to <laughs> it's your, beautiful. You talk to your bros like this, right? Yeah, right. All right. Give All us right. another one there, Sam, please. Um, you could say climaximum overdrive. <laughs> Which is the point just before you come when you start doing her in double time. Oh, shit. Oh, You're man. Oh, fucking shit. Yeah. Is this the one I peed stuff. on? Yes, yes, this would be the one. This is the famous, not, not this exact book, yeah. although that would be wow. a hot. That's a hot what's item. in the mystery do, do, box. Do they, do they have cues in there where you're supposed to high five after you say that <laughs> dumb shit? Yeah, <laughs> motherfucker. Come on, brah. Up top. <laughs> Bill, we had oh, the author on the it. phone, and while he was still on the phone, I peed on his book. <laughs> it's mic'd, and all you hear is God the damn fucking it. piss hitting I really book. miss doing this show. I got to get that shit in my car. I swear <laughs> yeah. to God. And then, of course, we had to go, are you hearing this? Do you hearing this? <laughs> Being animals. Okay, one more, Sam. Well, you might talk about your stallywhacker. Oh, what's a stallywhacker? Which is a tallywhacker yeah. that's as big as a stallion's. So it's like you have a really big penis. Oh, holy shit, is that awful? That's a book? Why is that the anti-pussy book? book? Is what? that what it is? Yeah. And why is Sam closing the book when this is going so well? What's Sam, there's some big laughs in here. Let's go. We, we some got more. some laughs going. The gang's out there enjoying them. And you're the a fan gang. of the bromance. We all learned that. Because yes. his knees are swollen from actually having his feet <laughs> straight. Because <laughs> <Yeah, that's right. laughs> <laughs> his feet are broken. <laughs> <laughs> Bro Ken. <Yeah. laughs> Hi-yo! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Yay. We'll be back after these messages. Oof, that joke was broable. What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? <laughs> uh, Sam uh, gave me the nod like he found a really good one. Yeah, Sam. More yeah. bromance vocabulary. Like sometimes when you're talking to a girl in a bar and you see another one that's a little more busty, you need to make a cup grade. It's to upgrade Jesus to a girl with a bigger Christ. bra size. Jesus, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> this is fucking painful to listen to. It's hurting me somewhere. Just the sound <laughs> and, and then the thought. Do, do How you, does this hurt? How do you get pain from somebody? So Olivia Newton-John broke a teacup? <laughs> <laughs> Can we go to break with me pee on this guy's book? <laughs> Thanks, Ansel. <laughs> huh? We played it today as part of a production piece. Okay. Yeah, but can we just play oh, the uh, oh raw audio? <laughs> yeah. If fine. they can find it real fast, because that would be a great way to go to break. <laughs> just the sound of pee on his dumb book. Go ahead there, Sam. Well, like when you're hanging with your bros yeah. and like uh, down in beers, Yeah. if you down one and just slam it down on the table, you might say... Dude, you just committed bruthanasia. This is how can this what? be real? <laughs> like, I want to hang out with this guy just to see if he t tries to use it, just to try oh, to get yeah, like, some yeah. sort of conversation about his book. Yeah, yeah, oh. and, and like get it into the 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 yeah. culture, popular culture. How many pages of this shit? I don't know. One is too many. If oh. it was a leaflet, this would bother it's, me. You should have a listener memorize as much of this book as they can, and actually go out to a bar and just try to hang out and meet. You know, and go, hey man. <laughs> You just committed like oh. <laughs> And the guy would probably like unless he punched you right in the face, he would probably just like like politely go, ha huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah go and then yourself. the second you did another one, it's like, all right. We get like it. it wouldn't take more than one. Most people would punch you in the face. After one, right? But after one. But if you kind of just pleasantly chuckled after one, the second one, Looks you like you gotta go get make hit. a cup grade. Cup grade. <laughs> hey, dude, I think you should make a cup grade. <laughs> yeah, but you might want to not hit a, a guy who's saying this stuff because uh, one of his Vincent Van Bros might be with him, which is a bro who is so loyal he would cut his ear off for you. Dude, what, you're my Woody, Woody man, really? I know that's oh. what I want to do after hearing these. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying it was a gem, but it at least deserved Vincent a chuckle. I, me, I, had, I had to scold the audience. I didn't like the fact that they stared at my clever joke. Yes. Well, a Vincent Van Bro <laughs> would be opposed to just some silly wanna bro. Some what? A wanna bro? It's, it's as described a dork who tries to be a bro. But it's nothing but a wannabe. Well, how could you be a wannabe? If you're using this language, then you're a bro. Mm, yeah, but he doesn't know the language. He just probably picked up the book and it just... You know what I mean? Like, he doesn't live no, the bro lifestyle. No, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> he doesn't live the bro lifestyle. You like this stuff, right. Sam. I do. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do.
I don't um, even know what to believe with it uh, anymore. No, no, no. I don't even know. Ass. But you know yes. something? This is a great country that you can actually you know, make a little bit of money doing that. Yeah. I actually thought that when Os- Os- Osborne's uh, kid is climbing those fucking mountains. Hey, this is a show. Yeah, just climb up there yeah, and the ass cracks hanging out. Film it. Well, let's see if you T-square know. feet has anything else to say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving me there. I just really... T-square feet, huh? That is good, yeah. Well, a lot of my favorite things to do with bros is just relaxing or whatever. Yeah. Sure. And so sometimes you need some chilloquialisms for when you're just chillaxing. Chillin'. You know? Chillaxing? Yeah. And so, like, you might say you need to make a chip trip. And that's a trip to a convenience store to pick up chips for the game. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? I, I wasn't sure. I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck this is really that? going deep, man. I thought that was taking the lead ones out of the retarded kid's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is another good one. Yeah. <laughs> you and your bros might want to play a game of chill yards. Chill yards. Which is billiards when played for the purposes of chilling with your bros. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Who's this, 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 is this put for like 12 year olds or something? My fucking, this makes my teeth hurt. Yeah, it's, it's, it's physically hurting. <laughs> and if you're using this with another guy, I'm sure a bro job is in their future. Those <laughs> 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 motherfuckers are queer. <laughs> you know, though, yes. some uh, of the audience members today might have come in and gone into cock shock. What is cock shock? Well, that's when you go to a party expecting a breast fest, but walk into a meat hang. A breast fest? Cock right. shock? So yeah. You're talking about any O&A It's hangs. when you pick up a transsexual and she's post-op. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Steve. There's or some, like, they, if you want to prove you're classy or whatever, like you're, you know, you're cut above the rest of the bros, yeah. you'd show them your cigar arsenal, which is your arsenal. Of cigars. Oh, is that what that wow. is? Wow. Cigarsenal? <laughs> uh-huh. That's, That's cool. Ugh. And one more, I guess, and then we then we officially give the first copy of the bromance book out to Give? Cigar. What? Let them fight over it? <laughs> yeah. Who's not going to want this now? So, like, this would be when you're watching TV and your chick is coming over trying to change the remote or talk to you and you're like, babe, the game's on. Oh, that's when you have to punt. That's <laughs> punch the cunt. <laughs> no, your chick might have ESP envy. Oh. That's like a chick's jealousy over your love of ESPN. Yeah. Right. Oh, I thought that was especially smelly pussy envy. <laughs> Oh, hold on, sorry. Apparently, fucking the improv troupe out here in the audience could have come up with a better ESP line. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mars. How are you? You are, you are just carpet bombing oh, the it's audience. it's fucking horrible. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dresden out there. <laughs> and I don't like the fact that fucking... All right, go ahead. <laughs> I, I've lost my faith in myself. Oh, no. No, well, no come on, Jimmy. Do it. Let's finish strong here. You know right. what Mars is? What? Really? What? Yes, a fucking Tiberius Caesar haircut having idiot. <laughs> no. Thank God I didn't say that as a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't have gotten a big laugh, but I was really trying to make a point. <laughs> wow. <laughs> go ahead there, Sam. I've seen this guy work out, and he's a total Jim Poster. In that he shows up. Is that where he up. pretends to be a guy bombing? <laughs> Jim, you're not bombing. You're doing well. <laughs> Jim Poster. Uh. Well, he shows up to the gym just to be able to tell people that he goes there. Ah, but he well. doesn't do much besides sit at the juice bar, hitting on the counter chick, of course. Well, the well, chick. God, yeah, right, dude. He's such a fucking man. Tankankerous would do that. Yeah. All Thank this Hankers knowledge. Knows this is a these. book of puns. That's yeah. all he's done. By, yeah. the, by the way, good job by Sam. Mikey G in Boston writes, Sam's really wise and informative today. A regular bro b one Kenobi. That's right, dude. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. That's nice. a good one. Is that one in there? Nice. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Does it go from A to Z in that dumb book? Or no, because they're all the different sections. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. You know, break them up into... But all Holy this shit. knowledge can go to one or, I think, six lucky fans. <laughs> <laughs> today. Well, why don't you, you know, whoever wants this book should raise their hand. How about this, Hope? Whoever comes up with a good one yeah. gets yes. the first copy. Yes! How about that? One of you guys has to have... A bromance. Since I haven't, obviously, uh. maybe one of you can <laughs> come up with a good one. And this is the copy as read on the air. Oh, oh wow, that's famous, famous now. famous book. Ooh. That book is famous. 
I heard he signed it too. You should write as read, <laughs> as read by primetime Sam Roberts. I can't, what That's page did true. he sign this on? I don't remember. Second page again. It's weird. Usually you just open up the cover and sign it, but these I guys... I think that's, that's a new thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a new thing. What does it say, Jimmy? I can't read I can't even find it. Uh, well, it's right... Uh, one more page. Yeah, right there. Okay, what does no, it no, say, Jimmy? No, you missed Jimmy? it, Jim. Go, go back a page. Go back a page. Back one more. One more. And it's right there. There it is. Right? What is that noise? It's almost like there's a pen writing on no, paper. No, no, no. I don't know. What's going on there? I can't find it. I don't know. All right. Is Let that one signed there, Oh, here Sam? it is. Oh, did you find it? I'm like, how could I not find it? <laughs> what does it say, Sam? I'm an unfunny... What is this? Can you read that? I Looks like he wrote shitbag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an unfunny <laughs> shitbag. Daniel. <laughs> Too bad the cunning linguist wasn't here, or he would, uh, he would win. The show itself. Yeah. Our show. Come on. The Bropy and Manthony show. <laughs> nice. nice. Dude. Dude, right? Come on. Air high Up five. Up top, man. There you go. Yeah. We're high fiving. With Ugh. your uh with your shemale loving friend, Shimmy Norton. Shim Shim. <laughs> 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 Sam? So who wants the brocabulary? Who's got a good brocab word? A brocab. I like that, Sam. Ah. Why is nobody saying anything? Come on, guys. This, you, you can't bomb harder than I have. Yeah. <laughs> I've set the bar very low. Let's go with a brocab. Let's go. You guys are a bunch of queers. That guy with you the glasses is thinking. Bros. The guy in the second row. Is he nodding off? He's asleep. That guy's asleep. Look Pat at him. Oh, damn. Oh, oh we nice just woke work. him up. Fucking narcoleptic. My my word is broner. What? A, a broner? A, a broner. That's when you and your friend is wrestling around and your dick gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> you get a dental though. That's that's the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, it'd be queer if it was on purpose. <laughs> the fact that the man's fucking leg rubs your dick and it jumps up makes it fine. All right, we'll give him that one. That was good. A broner. Mr. Broner gets the book. Oh. Yay. I, I, I <laughs> Uh, this is Jimmy, Jimmy's jokes have been made front page of the paper. <laughs> <laughs> As Ed holds up the wait, let me see. Adam That's Bomb, picture. Adam Bomb from Hiroshima. Yeah, pictures. yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. I was hoping it was the ad in the corner. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, what other old newspapers are we are giving away today after the break? <laughs> yeah, we got Anthony picked the decide to keep one of them. After no, all. Okay, you could take this one. Really? I just wanted to. Th I just wanted to thumb through right. it. The good old days. <laughs> what do you got? A whole stack of World War II era newspapers. Ah, uh, one headline says two Nazi armies yield in the south. Yeah, I don't like those papers. Oh, this one you're not total German surrender. Wow. Oh boy, Ooh. don't let it hell happen that there, huh? Soviets fight Czech Nazis. God oh, damn no. the Reds. And no Jap war for two front vets. <laughs> Jimmy just went and got another bromance book. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna of keep course. one for myself. <laughs> I don't blame you.